You must have heard of beer, wine, whiskey, rum, gin, vodka, tequila, brandy. Yes, they are all alcoholic beverages. But what sets them apart and which one packs the most punch or alcohol content? That I will clear in this video. You see, alcohol is created through a process called fermentation, where yeast breaks down the sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is later evaporated and this beverage we are left with is called fermented alcoholic beverage. We can get this sugar from cereals, fruits or some other plant extracts as a base for fermentation. Examples of fermented alcoholic beverages are wine and beer. Generally for wine we use grapes and for beer barley is used as a base product which is fermented. Fermented drinks like wine typically have an alcohol content from 12 to 15 percent and beer even less than that around 4 to 6 percent. Now one more thing the best way to determine how alcoholic a beverage is to read the label where you will find ABV or alcohol by volume written over it. But what if you want something a bit stronger with higher alcohol percentage? That's where we move one step further and go for distillation. If I am to explain this distillation in simple term, we heat the fermented beverage just below the boiling point of water around 75 to 80 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the alcohol starts evaporating but water solution is left behind because water starts evaporate at 100 degrees Celsius. We then cool this evaporated alcohol and converting it back into a liquid and voila, we have our spirit, a distilled beverage with a much higher alcohol content. As it goes through this distillation process, so also called distilled alcoholic beverage or distilled spirit. Now based on the base product used for fermentation and distillation, we have different categories or types of spirits. For example, if we use sugarcane juice or molasses as a base for fermentation and distillation, then we get distilled spirit called rum. Next we have brandy. This is produced by distilling wine or fruit. If it's made from grape wine, it's typically called brandy and if it's made from other fruits, it's often named after the fruit it obtained from. Whiskey, it is made from fermented grain mass which can include barley, corn, rye and wheat. Scotch is also a kind of whiskey which is made in Scotland. For difference, you can check this video. Vodka, traditionally made by distilling the liquid from fermented grains or potatoes. However, nowadays it can also be made from other starch-rich plants like corn, rice and even some fruits or sugar. Next we have gin. It is usually made from grains, mostly wheat or barley. Similar to other spirits, fermentation and distillation process is followed, but it goes for redistillation again to get more pure form. Even it can goes for multiple distillation. Its distinctive flavor comes from its botanical added during the final distillation process. The most common and important botanical is juniper berry. Tequila a spirit made from blue agave plant, primarily in the area surrounding the city of Tequila, Mexico. Tequila is often consumed straight or used in cocktails. Now there is another type, if we combine these spirits with flavors like fruits, herbs, spices and sugar, these flavored and sweetened spirits are called liqueurs. Now generally, most of the distilled spirit ranges from 40 to 60 percent ABV. But we go for redistillation, we can also increase the alcohol content. The strongest liquor in the world is Spiritus with 96 percent ABV and Everclear with 95 percent ABV. And that's a wrap on today's topic. 
If you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below about your favorite drink and why you love it. And remember, always enjoy it responsibly.